So welcome back everyone, Triple M here. Today's video, I wanted to do a quick run through of how you can set up your Plex Media Server on your Nvidia Shield TV. Been a while since I've done one of these setup videos, so I'm gonna start doing them again, not just for the Nvidia Shield, but also network attached storages as well as PC. But today we're gonna focus on the Shield TV. Without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into it. So this will work for the 2015 Shield, 2017, as well as 2019. Now for the 2019 Shield, you wanna make sure that you have the Pro version. Um, doesn't really work on the round or cone version of the NVIDIA Shield that was released. All right, so first thing you're gonna do, of course, you're gonna download the Plex application. Now the Plex application is gonna be both the media server as well as the media player. So within Plex itself, once you go through the setup, that's where you'll enable the server on the Video Shield TV. So you don't need a separate application. So go to your Google Play Store. You're gonna just search for Plex. All right, so there it is right there, Plex Media Server. Just for this video, I'm gonna just fully uninstall it and reinstall it just so you can kinda get the first out of the box experience that I'll be getting. So it looks like there's an update, so let me go ahead and do that. All right, so now we have the Plex Media Server. Let's go back home. So if you go to your applications, and let me go ahead and you can see on the Plex, I only have Plex guys. So like I said before, the player and the media server is gonna be one application. However, the media server is something that you turn on during the setup and I'll show you how to do that in a little bit. So before we get into the setup, accessing your media is gonna be two basic options. Either you're gonna attach a storage, so this could be a SSD or some sort of drive to your NVIDIA Shield itself, or you can connect your NVIDIA Shield to a network attached storage with larger space and that way it's easier to access media. So I'm gonna show you how to do both methods here. Just, just keep in mind how large you want your library to be after the setup. So we're taking a look at my network attached storage. These are the folders that I have. You can see I have a Plex Media folder. When I click on that, these are categories that I created. So I have a children's section, I have movies, I have music, photos and TV shows. So this is where you can play with it if you want to. You don't necessarily have to do this. You can literally dump files in a storage space and point your, your Plex to recognize it will sort it for you. But for me, I like to stay organized. So this is what I have set up. And we'll be connecting this drive to the NVIDIA Shield here in a little bit. So back over to the NVIDIA Shield, let's go to the storage options. So, so on the NVIDIA Shield, I do have a 256 gigabyte hard drive connected. And what you wanna do there is just combine that storage space to the space of the NVIDIA Shield. So let's go to our device preferences. We're gonna go down to storage. So you can see the internal storage on my NVIDIA Shield TV is only 12 gigabytes. So that's not gonna store a lot of files if that was the route I wanted to go. I do have a USB drive plugged in. Like I say, it's a 256 gig hard drive. If I click on it, what you wanna do there guys is erase and format as device storage. So this is gonna basically expand your storage on the NVIDIA Shield TV. However, just keep in mind that when you do this, this will one, only be compatible with this NVIDIA Shield TV and two, it will erase everything on your drive. So you wanna have a drive that's dedicated for this purpose. I'll go ahead and erase it, blah, 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 blah. It's gonna erase all my data. I understand the risk. So Shield is gonna move some data to the USB drive. Again, just making this sync with your device storage. Great option for the NVIDIA Shield. So um, now these two device storages are basically one as far as the NVIDIA Shield goes. So what will happen when we set up the Plex Media Server is Plex will create specific folders on this drive for you to have your media. Like I said, this is option one. In those storage spaces, you are gonna be able to grab your media, send it directly to those spaces. So for me, it's just a little bit more difficult to access the storage space on NVIDIA Shield and get your content there. Um, that's why I opted to go with option two, which is using my network attached storage. So in order to use my network attached storage, option number two is gonna be mount network storage. So we're gonna click on that. And if you're on the same network, you should see your device here. Uh, for me, the one that I'm looking for is a Triple M 1019. That's where all my Plex Media is, so I'll select that one. But if you don't see it here, guys, you can go at it manually. You will need to put in an IP address, and that way you can go ahead and connect to that drive. So 
Keep in mind that the Nvidia Shield needs to see the drive in order for your Plex to connect and use that media. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and select 1019. All right, I'm gonna connect as a registered user. I'm gonna go ahead and put in my username and password, All right? So I am connecting and you can see I am connected. So again, currently I have two options. I have one network attached storage mounted I do have the internal storage space of the NVIDIA Shield TV. Again, for the internal storage space, it is going to be a little bit more difficult, I believe, to get to those files and drop media in there. I can use any file explorer to do it, but it's just more involved. And I think a network attached storage is the best option. And also keep in mind that I already have my media on this network attached storage. Uh, so you will need to have your media there. Uh, or create folders for your media and you will need to drop your media in here. For the NVIDIA Shield, it did create the drives here and you will be able to drop your media there for it to use. So the NAS that I'm using is a Synology NAS and I'll link a couple in the description where you can go ahead and check them out. All right, so next we're gonna go ahead and launch the Plex application. All right, so this should be the first launch. You see the option at the bottom to enable Plex Media Server. You want to make sure that box is checked or else this will not work. All right, click next. It is going to tell you that an account is required. You have to create an account. It's free. You will need an email address. Click OK. So you can either sign in with your Google account or you can head over to your PC and sign in um, that way. So we're going to go ahead and head over to the PC and continue with the setup. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and we'll just put in what we saw on the screen there. So it was uh, plex.tv slash link. I'm gonna create a free account. All right, so now it's gonna ask me to link the account. So again, I'm gonna go back over here. We're gonna put in that KB74. We're gonna link. Now we can go back over to the NVIDIA Shield TV. All right, so we're going to hit next. All right, Plex libraries. We're going to hit next again. Permissions. Plex media server ready to set up your server. Click next. And again, this might take some while, so I'll go ahead and fast forward the video. All right, so Plex media server complete. I'm going to go ahead and click finish. Do you want to share your watch history so you have some options there? Friends, you can keep it private. I'm just going to leave it friends only, except. And here we are within Plex. So a lot has changed since I, I've done a video on, on the Plex setup. Uh, since I've done a video maybe two years ago, they've gone maybe a lot more towards having free or fast channels. So free ad supported channels. So they have a lot of live stuff on here. Um, they have TV shows and movies. They have a lot of different things here. They have live TV, live channels, um, free channels, of course movies, TV shows, rentals, discover, but your media, this is where you want to go ahead and add your media. What we want to do is go to our settings. I'm going to go down. There should be a media server menu. All right. So you can see you have your settings. It shows the version. So you can turn that on and off. You do have the storage location. So this is where you can go in and kind of point it to where you want it to dedicate to the content. So if I click on that, you can see it tells you to modify your location. We're going to go ahead and say, let's do it. All right. So internal storage location, internal user accessible storage location. So we're going to click on that, continue, and we're going to click finish. So the rest is going to be done on your PC guys, believe it or not. So doesn't make sense us typing in different paths and locations on here. So we're going to switch back over to the PC and we're going to go to the Plex website again. So um, the account they just signed into, you just want to make sure you access that account. So we're going to go ahead and we're just going to go to Plex.tv. All right. So it is going to bring you to your, your location, but you can see that I am signed into the same account. I'm going to go ahead and open Plex. All right, so if you're not signed in, you want to sign into that same account. All right, so it's going to bring you through the basic setup, guys. Um, like I said, all you need to do is go to Plex.tv. 
let me go back go to plex.tv you open plex right here and it should bring you there if it shows a different account or shows that you're not logged in all you need to do is go to that account that matches your nvidia shield tv open it and it should bring you to a basic setup page so i'm gonna click got it all right so that's the name i'm gonna leave it but you do have the option to change the name of your server i'm just gonna leave it shield android tv um that way it's just easy to recognize so this box right here where it says allow me to access media outside definitely check that um that's probably one of the main features that i like about plex so leave that check we're gonna hit next and now we get to add our libraries so you see the different libraries that are added by default so these are locations that were created during the initial setup on your nvidia shield tv so these are all shield locations so i'm going to show you how to change that we already enabled the drives on the nvidia shield tv we just need to match the location so Gonna click this for movies all right so this is gonna be the name movies all right we're gonna have one location here we're just gonna delete that default location now we're gonna go to our network that storage we're gonna go to plex media we're gonna go to movies and i'm just gonna add so now we add that synology nas and the movies folder that i created i'm gonna save i will go in once we get into plex i am gonna show you guys how to get to these locations and that way you can make changes i'm gonna hit next all right so tell you can get the apps all right so customize what you see this is going to be that menu on the left so it is going to have a lot of different things on here so um if you don't want to be cluttered you can delete rental because i know i won't be using that and i'll just leave that there finish setup all right so you can see it's starting to sync everything that i have on here so it's going to take a while so those are my movies starting to sync my music hasn't started yet i didn't sync any didn't sync any photos in order to add libraries or edit what you already have so for instance music i can um, go to manage library i can edit it and it'll bring you to that same location so you can see it it's pointing to that that network test storage and if I wanted to add an additional area, I can. So, so if I click on add, I want this area to be just kids movies. So it's gonna be a, a movies area, but I'm just gonna have it for the kids. All right, the folders I'm gonna select, I'm gonna browse. I'm gonna go back to the NAS, Plex Media. I do have a dedicated area for um, children. So I click on that. You can see I have educational, I have movies, click on that. Click add, add to library, and now I have that area right here. So what it'll do, guys, it will go through. Um, you can see it's um, scanning the movies areas first. Then it will go through the music, photos, whatever else you have, and then you'll have your own content right there. So this is all my pin stuff on here. I can unpin them. I can move them around. I can play with what I see first. But again, everything's starting to sync, as you can see there. The art cover, everything is updated so far. And um, maybe I'll do a follow-up video just to show you guys if, let's say the album art doesn't show up, how to change that. But there's a lot of cool things you can do, including um, sharing access or limiting access for certain areas. So you see I created this kid's area. I can make it to where they'll only have access to this area and not the other area. So setting parental controls essentially, and it will give you the option to use a pin to do that. So I'm gonna let this um, run. What we're gonna do is just jump back over to the Nvidia Shield TV. We should see the same thing as far as the movies and everything sink in. Cause remember, it's not just a server on the Shield, it's also the player. So you can stream your content on the Shield as well. All right, so it's gonna be a little bit different as far as the layout on the Nvidia Shield TV. And again, you can always move these menus around. But if you go down to more, you can see now you have those areas and you can go over, you can pin to sidebar, let's do that. And do that for all of them. Let's go back. So now you can see all of this stuff is down here. So you can now see that they're pinned up in here. So um, if I go to my movies, you can see that everything is starting to sync and everything has the art cover and everything looks good. So the cool thing about this setup is that whenever you get new media, new content, all you need to do is drop it in those folders, launch your Plex, it will automatically update 
and it kind of takes a lot of the work out of it. So I know this was a pretty lengthy video, but I just wanted to do an updated video how to install and run and set up Plex on the NVIDIA Shield TV. And again, if you have any questions, drop them in the comments. I do expect to do a couple follow-up just to answer some of those questions. So make sure you leave your questions in the comments and I'll do the follow-up shortly. Of course, if you're new to the channel, subscribe, smash the notification bell. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.